Hi folks, my name is Hermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of Starflight 2 Trade Routes of the Cloud Nebula. Uh, this game is the second and last game in the Starflight series. Uh, it is a role playing game combined with a space simulation where you uh, control a crew of a spaceship. Uh, the story continues where it left in the first game, however it takes place in a different part of space. Um, the Interstellar Council banned the use of Endurium resource as the fuel for spaceships because it was discovered that those are living beings. And uh, now what happened is that some alien race, the Spamen, who were not very important in the first game, now somehow got access to a different interstellar resource uh, called Shinium that allows uh, interstellar travel and also they got access to uh, advanced technology and now are starting their conquest and they want to enslave humanity and conquer the universe. Uh, while playing this game you discover that uh, this technology is not their own but they found it on the other side of the wormhole in some distant part of space. So you have to travel through that wormhole and get the advanced technology as well and then also get access to the new uh, star fuel Shinium. So that's your goal in this game. You travel in an open world space, if, you, if I can call it so, and uh, you travel to various planets, uh, about 150 solar systems, where you can land on planets and fulfill quests or fight with aliens. And while doing so, you have to find clues about the new uh, fuel source and about the new technology. In the end you have also to travel back in time to get it. Okay, now let's take a look at the box art. Here you can see the front cover. Of course you are not limited to humans. You can also recruit other friendly alien races. In the universe. Now let's turn the box around and see the back side for some text about the game and pictures from the game. The game is heavily based on exploration. Trade and such. Okay, now I open the box and let's take a look inside. You can flip the front cover to get inside. Here you can see something about the developers. Here are the credits. Take a look at the people who made this game. Well, and let's take a look at the contents now. Here is some kind of measuring device for a space map that is also included. Here is the Electronic Arts registration card. Here are some advertising for a hint line. Here advertisement for a clue book to this game where you find all the useful tips about playing it including an order form for this clue book. Here is disk exchange form if you wanted different disks than those present in the box. Okay, of course there is the game itself. It comes on one three and a half inches disk. Uh, if you got the uh, five and a quarter inches disc version, then there are two discs, but oh. 
you just yeah now you can see it clearly then there is a command summary card Here you can see getting started installation of the game playing the game and such setup and so on Here is the command summary, so the controls and such basic tips about playing the game. And technical support stuff also warranty. Okay, so there's the command summary card. Then there is a big paper space map with the regions of space that you can visit in this game. And of course you can use here this, the measuring device that I showed you at start. So, this is the paper map okay and the last thing in the box of course is the game manual that looks like this it is black and white as you can see something about software piracy something enhancing the storytelling You can read about the ban of on Endorium, the space fuel that was used originally in the first game and that caused all the trouble. Here technical reference manual, so take a look at the table of contents. continues so you can see over 40 pages general inter information so objectives what you should do in this game and such species that inhabit the known universe humans velox eloven those are the friendly ones actually that you can recruit and thrin to your party also android those are also friendly that were created by the old empire that vanished here's something what to do in the port configuring of ships recruiting crew and such here the game interface with the legend when flying the ship some navigation tips info about space how to travel through space planet recommendations where to land and what to look for where are the best resources and such landing on planets, exploration and so on. Here are some appendices, so some mineral charts. Here some fauna and flora on the planets, what you can find there, various interesting life forms being presented here, very nice. Okay, and on the back side, on the 
there is some notice okay and that is all it was in this box i thank you very much for watching this video